Well, there are so many 626s here. Andy did come upon a V6 with the OEM headlights or fog lights. So we're going to snag those. Andy's going to snag those because he doesn't have a set. And uh, I know a lot of you out there in 626 land are going to be jealous, but these are Andy's. Unless he wants to sell them to you, but that's his choice. So we're gonna go ahead and show you how to uninstall these fog lights. The fog lights only come on the V6 version of the 626, and it's an optional package at that. And the, there are two bolts, one here, one over here, and the bolts come from the fog light and they go back. There is no mounting bolt from the chassis to the fog light, it's the opposite way. The mounting bolt is on the fog light. That's a really loud plane. And one concern, with the Mazda 626 V6 fog lights is that the mounting brackets have a tendency to break. So be real careful and real gentle when you take those off. Uh, don't over torque them because they're held on by plastic uh, retainers. If you break those plastic retainers, you're not gonna be able to fix them. Uh, you might have to heat weld in new bolts or something like that. I've not come across a fix for that yet. And that's uh, it's an issue, it's a concern. Uh, there's a lot of people that have broken those and then they're like, well, what now? You know, I only have one bolt there. And if you only have one bolt and your headlights are not completely shored up, what happens? Your fog lights flicker when, you, when you're driving down the road. And that annoys the crap out of other drivers. And being 626 people, we wanna be good road worthy citizens. So make sure you are very careful with those bolts and Andy's gonna go ahead and start removing them. Now you might be able to get this one with a ratchet, but this one, this left one over here, that's a real tight spot. You might need to get that with a wrench, but they're both 10 millimeter bolts. Yes, you are definitely going to need a 10 millimeter wrench in order to get that left nut off. Careful. <laughs> Safety glasses next time. Yeah. You want a pair? I got some, especially with that drip. Okay, make sure you unplug the wiring harness to the back of the fog light should be just a little tab same kind of tab that's on every other thing in the car same kind of tab is on the O2 sensor so it's just a push down right yeah but it's kind of hard to do with gloves on there you go careful that means there's water in the fog lights it's not a good sign and then it should just manipulate straight out the front I don't think that will come out through the front. No? no. It's got to come out through the front. No, because the housing's actually bigger on the... Uh... It will come out the front, I tell you. <laughs> okay, now you can see what I was talking about with the, the mounting screws here. They come out the, the back of the fog light and then they mount to the chassis. Um, and if you twist these or, and mess with these too much, you know, it'll split the plastic right here and then, or take this, uh, split the whole housing so that this is loose. And I have seen housings that are split right up the, the middle kind of thing. Um, and the same on that side. So just be careful when you remove them and you should be good to go. You got fog lights. Andy's got fog lights. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thumbs up. Now. If your car does not come with the wiring harness, if your car basically doesn't come with fog lights, remember to get the, the connector for it. Now you're going to have to wire it up yourself, but we will have detailed instructions on Mazda626.net on how to do that. Compliments of Andy. Yes, sir. The V6 has a fog light fuse, which should be one of these fuses here. And Andy's already plucked out the fog light switch which would be right there next to the dimmer switch. On I4s, you'll notice that that port is just a blank cover. And the reason that it's a blank cover is because the V6 has uses that port as the fog light switch. And it's just a push button switch. And then, let's see, I guess you could, what'd you do with the wiring that was up here to the fog light switch? Huh? Yeah, right here. Oh, okay, so he cut the, he cut the wire that was going to the fog light switch as well. Now, I already know from having 
spent many nights falling asleep reading wiring diagrams that this fog light switch uses the pink and white wire. So as long as we can find the pink and white wire um, and follow that, we can tell exactly how this is wired up. This side is a lot tighter to get into. That's because of the frame shape and the AC lines. I was able to get into this one with this, but the one back here, that's going to be a challenge. That looks like it's going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah, get a long handle wrench. We only have a, a short 10 millimeter wrench. <laughs> Andy cut the, the wire here, and the other half of the, the harness, you can barely see it. It goes back behind here, shoots back over there, and then goes down to this. I oh, can't really see it there. Goes down to that common ground harness there, which gets bolted to the chassis right there. So I'm guessing that's the ground for the entire light um, assembly. Both the headlights or headlamps and the fog lights use that ground right there. It looks like there's about four to six wires going into that common ground harness. And then that gets bolted to directly to the chassis. And then for the fog light, the harness comes up here and gets plugged into this uh, larger harness. Actually, this is really a, a wiring harness. Um, and that runs underneath of this structural support. I think this is called the front, front frame, front frame support, something like that. So it's right underneath of here. It runs alongside here and then comes out right here and gets kind of split off and goes into different directions. And I'm pretty sure that the one that we're looking for is going to be going directly up into the bottom of the fuse box and then plugging into this, the back of this socket. Uh, yeah, see how there's pins there? There's pins there, which means these are unused. You can't even put anything in here if you wanted to because there's no sockets. So I'm pretty sure that that's going to be your fog light fuse. And it's actually a good question on the I-4s. I know we have this on the I-4s, but I don't know if those pins are there. So that's something to investigate. Uh, so the wiring harness will shoot underneath of there and get plugged directly into there. Plug your fuse in there. And then the other side of that would then shoot through and go directly to your switch, fog light switch. And since we know we already have a ground, which is at the harness, which is at the common harness, all we need is battery, uh, battery, battery positive voltage, which is going to be fed from the fuse box straight to the fog light switch, and it's as simple as that. Uh, but just to confirm, I want to, and I've always wanted to, go ahead and split open one of these harnesses and find that pink white wire, and follow it directly up to the fuse box, and then follow this directly from the fuse box through the chassis and see how that's routed. Uh, that way there's no doubt in the future if anyone wants to wire up a fog light you will know exactly how to do it. Okay so in order to drop the harness there are these little tabs here, push through tab. And then just go and push those through and this harness is not going to drop out because it's so huge. There's another even larger harness. I mean it's like it's like that big around and it runs underneath and it goes to all the other electronics underneath over there. So I'm going to have to cut this open right where it is and look underneath and follow that wire until it gets to this point. Or an even easier solution would be just to cut open these three harnesses here and find the pink white wire uh, because I'm pretty sure there's no other pink white wire in any of that bundle. And that's purely speculation because I read wiring diagrams all the time and that's just from what I remember. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Alright, I've dissected the wiring harness and sure enough there is a pink white wire. It's that little pink wire right in the middle there. Not this one, but right there. Anyway, this harness, big harness, runs up here and then right there and then shoots in underneath the fuse box right there. And I'm guessing that pink white wire will go straight into the back of there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to unbolt the fuse box. The fuse box only has one, two, three bolts, something like that. Really easy to take off and then flip it over. The fuse box has these little clips on, on here and you need to pry those up, but make sure that you don't break them. I mean, this is just a junkyard car, but I broke these fairly easily. 
Uh, so what you want to do is pry off the bottom and then underneath that's what your fuse box looks like. This is all the electrical routing for just about everything for your car it goes through this fuse box in one way or another. Um, so let's find the fog light fuse should be right here and it looks like that's actually going to be a red and black with a green and black wire. Now this is OEM wiring. It's a red wire with a black stripe and a green wire with a black stripe to your fog light fuse. Don't know how that would get routed to the fog light switch then. Well, we're going to find out. Okay, here's the fog light switch. In the back of the fog light switch you have an orange wire, a pink wire, a green wire, and a white wire. Now this green wire, up oh, there's a green and black, there it is. Green wire with a black stripe, that's your wire. That's the one that's coming out of the fuse box. And that's going to get pushed to there and then the red wire with the black stripe goes down yeah, in good. here. That probably goes to yeah, what's that? I found that bracket you need for your transmission. The bracket? Yep. Really? Yep. Transmission's gone, but the bracket's there. The engine's gone, everything's gone, so it's loose. Holy crap.